Hey guys, so with the release of iOS 18, Apple added some really nice customization options to customize the lock screen of your iPhone. You can add widgets, you can change the shortcuts on the bottom of the screen. You have a lot of different options for font sizes and colors, but what if you wanna take your iPhone's lock screen experience to the next level, right? What if you wanna go ahead and change it entirely? So I'm gonna show you today how to change the lock screen experience of your iPhone when you plug into charge to look a little something like this. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and head on over into the app store and download any application with clocks now you only have to set this up once and you'll be good to go so go ahead and download any app that you wish for clocks i'm using this one right here this is not a sponsorship or anything like that this app is free you can use it for free there is a paid tier for additional customizing options but the free version works just fine as you can see right here so let me show you how to achieve this app from launching when you plug your iphone into charge giving you that extra lock screen customization experience on your device. I'm going to also show you how to protect your iPhone with a passcode and even face ID when engaging on this shortcut. It is using a shortcut, so make sure you have the shortcuts application on your device installed. So launch the shortcuts application. Inside of the shortcuts app, you want to click on the plus icon here, and then we're going to go ahead and select the open app options available right here. Now, once you select that, click on the app that's highlighted in blue, as you can see right there, to also select the application that you want to launch and then select the app that you've downloaded. In my case, it's going to be the Clock Phone, which is the app that I'm currently using for the purpose of this video. Click Done, and now we're set and ready to go. Now run the shortcut once just to make sure that when you run the shortcut, it opens the application for you. Now the next step is go back into the Shortcuts app and go under the Automations tab. So just tap on Automations and create a brand new automation. Now here you want to make sure that you scroll down and select charger so this option right here is the option that you want to go ahead and select click charger go ahead and click here on run immediately make sure the charger is selected in blue as you can see right there click next and now what you want to do is see my shortcuts right here and then select the brand new shortcut for open app just like so so now every time we plug our iphones into charge it will launch the application just like so. And now we have a brand new customized lock screen experience. Now, as I mentioned, this app does have customizing options. You can tap here and go ahead and customize or buy additional options if you want, but the free version works just fine. You see here, you can change the font size, the color and things of that nature. You can also add even widgets and things like that. But again, just the free version works fine. And on the top here, you have the date and you can also go ahead and add the battery if you wish to do so on the top of the screen as you see right there. So once it goes back, you see there we have the actual battery and the date and the time as well. But what if you wanna lock this app so no one gets into your phone when you actually launch this shortcut? Because obviously once it launches, it's simply launching an application that mimics the lock screen experience, but anyone can actually get into your phone. So let me show you how to protect your phone after you launch this automation. So let me show you how to use Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode to actually lock your iPhone once you use this automation. So all you have to do is jump into settings, head on over to accessibilities, now under accessibilities, you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom until you find guided access right here. Make sure you tap here, enable guided access, enter a passcode, create a passcode and enable face ID for guided access. Go backwards twice, so once, twice, and then go into the accessibility shortcuts option and make sure you tap here and make sure that the only option that's selected is guided access. Again, you only have to set this up once. Once you set it up, you're set and ready to go. So basically what guided access will do is lock this application with a passcode, face ID, or touch ID. When you launch the app, just like so, the app launches, you triple click on the side button, one, two, three, and you lock with guided access. However, you can also take this a step further and use the action button so you don't have to go through all that. I'm gonna show you in a minute. So right here, we have the device that's locked, you see here with this application in place. In order to unlock it, I have to double press for face ID or touch ID, one, two, Go ahead and unlock and just like so we can get back into our phone so basically i can go ahead and plug it in go into the app here the new lock screen triple click one two three it is locked in place and now i can just set my phone down again double press one two unlock and now we're back into our phones now you can use the action button as i mentioned so go into settings here go under the action button options and then right here you want to scroll over to accessibilities at the end right here select this option right here, go all the way to the bottom, and then select a guided access right here. So now every time you long press on the action button after you lock your device, 
then you'll be able to use that guided access just by long pressing for about three seconds and guided access should be enabled on your device just like so and no one can get into your device and this is how you can get a more customizable lock screen experience on your iphone when you plug it into charge let me know what you think about this in those comments down below hope you guys enjoy the video have a great weekend and i'll see you guys on the next one peace